I'm aware that at the moment you're probably trying to decide which um, subjects you want to take forward for GCSE and it probably feels like a very long time ago since you saw the um, PowerPoints and presentations that were delivered by the different heads of departments for the different subjects. So I just wanted to give you a reminder of what GCSE PE is all about. Now, if you have ever thought, or particularly over this uh, time in lockdown, you had a bit more time on your hands, um, if you've been having thoughts such as um, you'd know, like to be a personal trainer or you've been inspired by all, all the Instagram workouts and you're thinking that's the line of industry you want to do, um, or maybe actually thinking I'm interested in physiotherapy, uh, or you're just genuinely interested in the human body, you want to know how can you keep yourself fit, um, how do you feed your body the right energy, what is it you need to be eating and drinking. Maybe though you actually have just really enjoyed your PE lessons since year seven and think that's a topic that I think I'm going to enjoy taking for the next two years for my GCSEs. Now I obviously personally find the subject absolutely fascinating and I think that um, in today's country you know the health and fitness industry not just in the UK but in the world is a global business it is worth millions and millions of pounds if not billions and so it's definitely a really really interesting subject to take. Now what the exam looks like um, it's a 40-60 split so what I mean by that is that it is 60% theory and it's 40% practical. Now with that 40% really 30% is practical and there's a 10% coursework element now, not every subject still has coursework, so I do think that's a slight advantage that PE still does have that coursework element. Um, it means that you know that's the ten percent that we can try and help you as much as possible to make sure that it's the best possible grade that you could get. So when you go into those two exams for your sixty percent, you've already hopefully got something in your locker. So what is the actual breakdown of the GCCP exam? So there's something called Paper One. Now this is to do with fitness and body systems. It's an hour and 45 minutes and that is worth 36% of that paper. Now many people believe that paper one is obviously very similar to biology. So we look at topics such as the cardiovascular system, how your heart works, how it pumps oxygenated blood around the body. We then look at the respiratory system and how the cardiovascular and respiratory system work together. We look at the muscular system, so looking at the muscles and how they always have to work in pairs, how they can create eight different types of movements. Um, we then look at how the muscular system works with our skeletal system. So in terms of the skeletal system, we look at the bones, we look at how our bones and muscles are attached, uh, we look at what the functions of those um, of our skeletal system is, functions of the bones are, uh, our different joints. In paper one as well, we also look at something called levers, and axes and planes. Uh, we look into performance enhancing drugs that people find very interesting and it's always in the in the sporty news particularly in athletics and cycling. Um, then we sort of have paper two which is um, worth 24% and paper two is a little bit more like the psychology side. So we look at the different methods of training, we look at guidance types so like the use of armbands and harnesses and trampolining. We look at um, how athletes will train differently they might do something called fixed practice where they do the same thing over and over again and other athletes will do varied practice where you might change and do 1v1 and then a, a 2v4 um, environment. The health and performance element also looks at what actually sport does to us in terms of the physical, emotional and social benefits. I think that's really worthwhile knowing and being able to share with people in your family when you do learn that. Now the practical performance as I said is worth 30%. You pick three sports you get one team sport, one individual sport and one choice. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Finally, as I said, is the coursework, the personal exercise programme. You pick a component of fitness. For example, it might be your speed. Do you think, God, if I was a little bit faster, I'd be a much better netball player. I'll be a much better striker in football. You design a six week programme. You carry out that six week programme in one of your P lessons a week. And um, you then have to write it up and you say, was your plan successful? Was it not successful? So as we said about the activities, you get to pick three. So one team. So you get to pick one off this list here. Now, a lot of you tend to have a team sport already. Um, if not, when you get into your 10, you do rowing and rowing offers a great opportunity to be your team sport if needed. You then choose an individual activity. Again, in year 10, you start to do more boxing and more rock climbing. Again, these offer a perfect opportunity for that individual sport if you're somebody who doesn't have one because you're more of a team player. Your third choice 
is a choice. So you can pick either another individual or another team. So for example, you could do rowing, football, boxing. That's two teams and one individual. Or you might want to do uh, boxing, climbing, basketball. That's two individuals, one team. That's fine. So the match you can do is two of either one. Okay, I've already sort of been through what's on um, the different papers, but you can always go into Edexcel, GCCPE, um, and you can have a better look at the specification and the different resources they've got out there, and even have a look at an exam paper. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to be a PE teacher though, or like, I don't really want to be the next Joe Wicks on YouTube, PE can take you many places. You know, you could go into events management, you could be a sport pundit, you could go into um sports science you're going to sports psychology you become a nutritionist a dietitianist in the nhs a university lecturer an outdoor instructor um but equally it doesn't have to lead you anywhere if it's just a fact that for your gcse you want to pick a topic that i just want to know a little bit more about this then p is a hundred percent guarantee the subject that will give you some new knowledge Definitely something that you can use later on in life, even if it's in your personal life or share with your family, not necessarily your future job. Um, it has huge benefits. Um, and I can confidently say I don't know any student who regrets taking GCCPE. So still not sure if it is for you or not. Remember who we're looking for. You know, we look at people who have an outstanding attitude towards PE already. Always have their kit. Enjoy their lessons practically strong in three areas you know you must have or you also have that willingness to get better so if you want to do climbing you know you're willing to attend the after school enrichment for climbing you're part of one of our school teams if you take part in a team in the local community even better you're highly organized you're committed to attending one p enrichment per week you do have to love the subject but i said i find that sometimes that that love develops as the course goes on now, if you have any questions, please don't feel you can't ask us. Now we're not in that school environment. All your PE teachers are on email or you've got them on Google Classroom. Please ask any questions you may have.